So we're out here today fishing a little bit differently. Something that kind of gets overlooked is smallmouth that, that live in the weeds. There's a ton of forage in the weeds. A lot of, a lot of times people just think it might be, you know, a small perch, bait fish, that kind of deal. But there's actually a lot of crayfish that live in weeds as well. And they're kind of, they're easy targets because um, they, hang, they, they hang in on the, on the big cabbage leaves and all that stuff. So we're out here just kind of picking through these weed edges uh, with a little Texas rig drop shot. It allows us to kind of pull it through the weeds easily but you know one thing is too we are fishing light lines still so fluorocarbon and it's super abrasion resistant all that good stuff we're able to fish through the weeds super effectively but still have the power to to get that fish out of there here we go here's one right on these deep weeds oh yeah Woo. Gosh, these fish are so much fun on light tackle. Using real light line, so keeping that drag nice and loose and just letting them play themselves out. As they get up close to the boat here. Oh, come here, come here. Come here. Nice one, right in the top of the snoot. Nice drop shot fish there. He ate that flatworm up. Out in deeper water, we're out in 15, 16 feet of water, so I guess not too deep, but out on the outside weed edge, picking up the pocket, or picking, picking the pockets and getting some nice ones. I'm really kind of just picking apart sparse weed clumps. I'm not really, you know, I'm on the outside of the weed edge, kind of pitching up into it where it's a little bit thinner. This is, definitely isn't a technique I would take up into the real thick stuff where it becomes a heavy braid situation or heavy floral situation. This is, this is more so just kind of feathering the outside and kind of picking your spots as you move along and uh, just working it through the real light stuff that tends to get overlooked. And so you can kind of go in and, and pick up some fish that other people might not be looking for. And uh, the Texas rigging really helps fishing it weedless through there. There we go. That's a good one. Maybe, ooh, pulling some drag. Oh, nice large mouth. Come here, buddy. All kinds of bass up here. There we go. Nose hooked again. Awesome drop shot hook. Nice large mouth. Get him in there. Whenever I'm drop shotting around weeds, I really like to use more of a, a a cylinder style drop shot weight um, as opposed to, to a, a bell sinker or whatever. It penetrates better and it's a, that skinnier profile really works better throughout the weeds. You can kind of walk it through it a little bit better, pull it straight up and out or, or whatnot as opposed to a big fat sinker down there getting hung up on everything. It's just, it's the way to go whenever fishing around weeds. go oh oh my gosh there's a giant with it oh my gosh there's four of them with it oh gosh oh gosh this is the smallest one out of all four of them come on come on come on he just don't quit there yeah <laughs> yeah this is definitely the smallest one in the bunch and naturally he's the one that has to eat but <laughs> Just smallmouth in the weeds, once again. What's nice about these real fine wire, light wire hooks, and this is why I prefer to use this kind of style dr drop shotting is that really the, the hooking, hooking power of them, you don't really have to give a big swing, swing and hook set on them. It's kind of just a reel down and hang on because that, that light wire just penetrates their mouth so well. So in this super clear water, I like to have a, a really long, 
fluorocarbon leader, but also still having braid. So I'm, I've got a braid to fluoro knot tied here, real long leader because of such clear water and everything, <clears throat> but I still have all the feel and the, the zero stretch of the braid. So using a medium light, seven foot extra fast rod with a real soft tip for those light bites. Well, there we go, another one. What do we got here? Another smallmouth in the weeds. Just digging. I can't get any ground on him. Come on, come on. There we go. Got it. Nice little smallmouth hanging out in the weeds. Eating whatever he can find. There we go. Nice little guy. Picking him out of the weed edge.